Hello, I'm Dennis with DoItYourselfDennis.com and I'm going to show you today how to apply this alkali resistant fiber tape to concrete board. I'm using hardy backer board. Concrete board you do the same thing. Um, a couple of things I want to mention. Make my, a couple of things you'll need. You'll need a utility knife, you need your tape, and you can use a shim. Um, that's kind of optional. Um, and a couple things I want to mention about it. Something you can do if you're going to be using this when you're reeling it off and you and you after you've cut it, sometimes it'll flop back. You can take a piece of paper, or when you're done and you and you're going to use it again, you can take that piece of tape paper and put it on there, and it finds your end. Because once you put the end on here, it's hard as heck to find. Even in a new package, it's hard to find. <clears throat> but and another thing, I've seen a lot of debate about if it's necessary to use this or not. Uh, my feelings on it are it doesn't cost that much. You can buy a roll of this for 3 or $4. It doesn't take that long to put on. So uh, to me, it's, it's well worth the little extra money and time spent to take that extra step. Um, okay, so first of all, there's two different, uh, two, of course, there's two different sides. But there's one side that's stickier than the other. And the way you can the way it is is if you're pulling it off this way, it's this side. Underneath. So it's basically the underneath. So I'm gonna show you first how to do a flat. Not a whole lot to it, you just stick it on there. Flatten it out. And then, of course, cut it when you get to the end. You can use a putty knife for cutting, but I don't know, the utility knife just seemed to do better. Okay, next I'm going to show you. Phew, it almost flopped back. Uh, next, we're going to do up here in this corner. And the way I do these corners, if it's very long, I'll just stretch out some. And then go ahead and cut it. Oops. Not a big deal. The stuff's not so sticky that it's hard to deal with, but you can tell one side sticks better than the other. It only hardly stick. So you just kind of fold it in half. Stick it up in the corner. Just work your way down. And just try to keep it as close to being centered as possible. And you can run your finger down through there. And generally that's probably enough. But if you're concerned about it, you can take a wood shim. You don't want to press too hard in the corner and just kind of flatten it out. I mean, that's probably a little more than you really necessarily have to do, but you know, if you're concerned about it, but it should be fine. The next, we're going to do another corner, um, but let me get set up for that. All right, next, I'm just going to do a, a down corner. You pretty much do it just like the other side. You know, I'll Rip some off. And then what you'll do, going to the other end, uh, is just overlap what you already did. You know, just overlap it an inch or half an inch or, you know, you don't got to overlap it much, just overlap it a little bit. And again, you can use your shim if you want. But 
but it's probably up in there well enough to do what we're doing. So then I'll, you're going to take thin set and go over it. So that'll be the next. Now I'll have to get the thin set mixed up. Okay, we're ready to put our uh, mortar on, our thin set mortar. It's a whole lot like putting drywall mud on. What I do is I take some drywall or some mortar and put it in a drywall pan. And uh, we're going to start out with this corner here. And you just put some in the corner. You got to be careful not to press too hard into the corner so that you don't cut your screen. What you do is you just, let me show you, just get you a little bit on the corner there like that. And then run it down in there. And you go over the whole thing. Feather it out. And then on the other side, you do the opposite. Put it somewhere on the corner. So that's how you do the corners. Next you're going to do the, the wall. And you just, which would be better, this one or down here? I don't know. We'll do this one. So you smooth it out. And you're going to want to squish it in there, into the crack. And then just go over it. Push it down in there good and then feather it out. Okay, and that's, that's all there is to it. Um, just make sure you push it down in there, work it down inside the crack. Uh, that's what this screen is good for, it'll allow it to go down inside. Um, and I'll show you how to do the floor here in the next segment. All right, to do the seams on the floors, are, I mean, they're pretty easy to do. You just put a little bit of mortar on there, spread it out. Feather it out. And that's all there is to putting it in the on the floor. All right, I wanted to show you the finished product of taping the walls inside the shower. See all the seams. That's what the ceiling with the corner is. those there that's the shelves inside the closet or inside the shower and I want to show you this if any of you are wondering what that is that's a step that's a that's a little ledge that when you're taking a shower you can put your foot up on it and wash I just think that's kind of neat But that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching and check out my other videos at doityourselfdentist.com or here on YouTube. Thanks again.